Hi, welcome to uh, another video. I'm going to do a video on what to do on a football pitch. Probably based roughly on what I'll, I'll be trying to achieve this month and may get ever, everyone else thinking. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, just thought I'd better say hello to the camera in person. Hello. Um, yeah, so welcome to the video. Um, so what to do this month? Um, it's been a struggle, isn't it? Just getting on. Um, everything's going a bit long, a bit wet here. Things are rotting. Uh, grass a bit you know where it's a bit too long but yeah um, but I'll just start on my list and keep to my list so with this um, first thing Monday morning will be after tomorrow's game I'll go around with a, a fork um, try and lift up some of those divots try and re-level restore the levels um, is anything really low like a hill mark or anything that could put some um, root zone sports sand or whatever you're using probably sport uh, root zone a bit more body or sports sand it really depends what you're using what you've been recommended to use with your soil type etc you could put a bit of seed in um, usually this sort of time of year you're probably not going to come up but it's so warm at the moment there's you've got half a chance haven't you so you could be doing that another alternative well i'll do that anyway another thing you could be doing after that is if you've got a tractor mounted sort of multi-tool a multi-tool is kind of a uh, mixture of like a slitter, um, roller, brush and a rake kind of thing on the back of a tra on tractor attachment. So you can probably help put your levels back that way, um, stand the grass back up. That's not a bad thing. It's very important to keep the grass upright. Um, really don't want things getting too buried. So something like a, as an example, because I'm a bit old school, the Sysis Quadruplay, but there's a lot of newer models around now that you can kind of use but if not it's just you and your hand fork um, wouldn't use a roller um, to try and get my levels back due to just capping and sealing of the surface and then the next time it rains it's just really not going to go through there so any form of aeration really should help restore the levels a little bit as well that's another thing to consider um, cutting so or if I can only fit in one thing I'll, I'll cut this um, so I've got a multi-tool I'll probably go around by hand, but then I'll, I'll be looking to cut this. I usually do that early in the week to help restore some of the levels again, as long as the conditions are good. So I'll be cutting. We're at 30 mil at the moment. We'll be looking to get down to 25 mil. I think out there probably people are around 25 to to 35 mil. Maybe councils are a bit longer, whatever. But yeah, they, they're, they're kind. Of, that's the kind of range you're kind of looking at to maintain. Um, if it's growing and you're cutting, you're encouraging thickening. Um, and yeah, it's, it, cutting's just something you want to do. If you let it get too long, it starts to thin out. So I really recommend just cutting. Make sure the blade's on cut, um, so, so you don't introduce disease into the uh, torn leaf tissue. That's a, that's not a bad one. Um, got, done a bit on aeration. We can do a little bit more on aeration. So this time of year, sort of anything you've got, tractor mounted, even a pedestrian small pitch like this, you could do just down the middle at least, the wet, high wear areas. So you could be spiking, slitting, linear aeration, which is like a continuous um, line, which kind of links up your, um, your second sort of primary drainage. So that's not a bad one. You know, I don't want to be too specific on aeration because there's lots of forms and lots of different ways people use it. But aeration is, is vital, I'd say. Um, I've got a grounds on spiker here, so I'll be spiking this hopefully later in the week when things dry out. That will help roots down because we're still growing here. It help water infiltration a bit. Only, I'm only going to get in three, four inches due to the length of the tine. But then there's also the option of verti draining. I haven't got a verti drainer myself, but if you can get one, if I can get one, um, you're talking probably eight, in, eight, ten inches maybe if you're lucky, and that really will create some some real um, holes where water can travel down and get off the surface and keep keep your pitch playable some roots will also shoot down there it will relieve some compaction because um, a verti drain has a an element of heave on it um, rather than a straight in vertical punch type of aerator so you get a bit of heave and that heave will you know relieve a bit of compaction if the soil's a drier state it can do anyway but if nothing else it will help level the surface but not by smearing and capping and sealing so don't put it on when it's when it's wet but 
um, more say um, it will help a little bit because there is a roll on a verti drainer just to settle things a bit um, but as I say really the key is just get some holes in that surface link the top top of the surface down and get that water away as quickly as you can and for yeah and as I say if you haven't got a, anything to spike then these high wear areas like there penalty spot etc you you could actually just hand fork those a little bit of lift and you or you can get them little little forks that are sort of straight straight make a straight uh, vertical hole into the soil brush some sport sand into that something that's really free draining medium medium coarse kind of material um, so you can actually open up them areas and help them drain a bit more often they get low so a little bit your dressing while things are growing is never a bad idea just to keep them them areas a bit higher keep them because you know, they're only going to get lower um yeah and that, that's, a, that's about it i don't want to go into too much so you've also got sort of some bullet points machinery servicing um leaf clearance which i think is pretty vital sadly all the leaves do tend to find these sort of these thinner areas like that and if you leave them I think they attract worms and also if you leave them t too long they just get stamped in with the, the stud and then they break down into a mush mush um, and it ends up a bare area than you already have so I'd do that you've got your lines to mark which I'll be doing this week and ongoing straightening of them which is a pain isn't it um, but yeah I'll leave I'll leave a link in the blog um, for some of the stuff I've discussed um, but please uh, do um, subscribe to the uh, the video if you if if it gets helpful. Anything I've missed, any helpful tip tips or hints, please leave in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed the video.